Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm Sarah with Jujubee DIY. Thanks so much for stopping by today. Today I'm taking part in a challenge, but I'll get into that here in just a few minutes. So to get started, I'm gonna take this four x four canvas that I purchased at Michael's, and I am going to add some dots of Apple Barrel acrylic paint in white and black. I'm going to take a one inch paintbrush and I'm going to smear that paint together all going in all one direction. This will create a very cool and dimensional background for our painting today. Next I'm going to take a baby wipe and I'm just going to blot that all over my wet paint here. This just adds a little more interest to the background. And then I'm going to take some white paint and I'm going to use that same baby wipe to pounce some white paint onto my background. Next I'm taking a small angle brush and a few different colors of green here and I'm going to create some grass and some stems for my lavender. So this painting is going to be an impressionistic lavender field. <laughs> so here's some I'm just going in with a lighter color of green and then I'll go in with a darker color green. So usually I'll pick a light tone, a mid tone and a dark tone when I'm doing paintings like this, just to have that dimension and variety in the coloring. Next, I'm going to take the end of my paintbrush and this lavender color, and I'm going to dot that onto the stems. Next, I'm going to go in with a darker purple, and I'm going to go over each of those stems with the darker purple. Now, I was not really liking this dotted method. So I am going to go in with a, a small paintbrush and I'm going to kind of blend those colors together. I don't want the color to be flat in all one shade. So I'm being very careful to make sure that I've got that variety of the light and mid-tone purples going on here. Next, I'm going to go in with a darker color and I'm just going to Put that right over the top of each of my little lavender buds. So I was feeling that it was missing something like a color of purple and so I went and looked at my stash and I found this beautiful purple color from Americana and I am just painting that right over the top and I think that this was the perfect it was like the thing that was missing for this painting. I loved how this turned out. Next, I'm going to take a very, very small paintbrush and I'm going to go over the whole thing or, you know, over each of the buds there with like a white, just add some highlight and here is a look at how this turned out I really love how this turned out I think it is beautiful and I am very proud of it so today's challenge is hosted by Corey at crafted by Corey she hosts her mini challenge every month and there is a playlist attached to this video so I would suggest you go down to my description box Check out the playlist and then check out Corey's channel as well. She does awesome DIYs for flips and occasionally Dollar Tree hauls and other, you know, hauls too. So she's got a very nice channel with a lot of variety. So I'm going to take these little lavenders. I just um, cut off a few that I wanted and I'm going to create a little bouquet here. And this little box that you see in the background is, um, a repurpose from Easter. So I'm just repurposing it. 
And then I'm gonna hot glue this little bouquet right into my box here. So I was kind of looking for a lemon lavender theme. I love lemon and lavender together. Like the smell really brings home summer to me. And so I wanted to create a tear tray that uh, had lemon and lavender. So that's what I'm doing here. So this is just a little wood piece from Dollar Tree that I painted to look like a lemon. And I just hot glued that right over the top of my little lavender um, bouquet. So this was a project that I had done in a video a couple weeks ago, my lemon DIY. I'll leave that down below. And I'm just adding some feet to it to make it a little stand. Isn't that perfect? These little wood rounds from the Dollar Tree are just so perfect for a lot of things. So I wanted to introduce you to a plaid product. This is the Folk Art Multi-Surface Paint. Plaid was nice enough to send me this box. They sent me a whole box of stuff actually. And in that box was these paints. So I wanted to show them to you, show the colors that they sent me, and then also show you how they work on a project. So that first orange color is called Vivid Orange. And then there was the bright green and the Cayman blue. And all of these colors are so beautifully pigmented I was really surprised at how like bold their colors were. So that was a light lavender. And then this one is called Moon Yellow. And these um, can be painted on all kinds of different surfaces, glass, plastic, wood, you name it. And then they also sent me this 10 pack of brushes that are glass brushes. So I'm going to be using one of these brushes and this lavender color um, for a project today. So I have this little candle holder that I picked up at the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to clean it off really good with some alcohol and then using my paint and a, or my <laughs> paint, my painter's tape and a little jar, I'm just going to use a Sharpie to create lines around my jar here. And I did that because um, you really can't put painter's tape to paint, you know, like to make to tape off the lines for something like this because not only is this round but it's tapered and there's no way you get a good seal on the tape so unless you like did a whole bunch of little tiny cuts i wasn't into that so i just kind of free handed it and it worked out well i did end up giving this three coats of paint but the coverage was just beautiful so i also want to disclose right now that any products I review for a company will be honest reviews. I will not be giving reviews for any company. Like, you know, if I'm not into their product, I'll let you know, or I just won't even use their product at all. So, um, but you know, I think we've all been using plaid products for a long time. Apple barrel paint, folk art, uh, Waverly chalk paint, like all those are plaid products. So the Mod Podge, yeah. So I think we all know that plaid products are awesome. So here is what I did with this little candle jar. I made it into a little vase with lemons and lavender. So this was kind of a last minute thing that I did. So this is one of those little blessing jars that they had at the Dollar Tree last year, I think. There was like one that had like a a chicken and then like a heart pink heart or something on it anyhow I just cut this little lavender fabric added a little bit of yellow and white Baker's twine cut a lemon in half and added the word lemon in the front so this is how my tear tray looks all together and you'll see some of those lemon DIYs from my last video And I just added the lemon and the lavender and I love these colors together. I think purple and well, obviously purple and yellow complement each other beautifully. And then that bit of blue in there from the Nantucket blue is just perfect. I did add some lamb's ear just to kind of tie in that blue green color from the Nantucket blue. 
but I love how this tear tray turned out. I think it is just absolutely perfect for summer and I'm so excited about it. Let me know what you think about lemon and lavender. And I know this is like dragging on forever, but I wanted everybody to be able to see like all the little elements that I put together for this tear tray. I think that's helpful if you're not sure how to style a tear tray or like what you want to do. So I think it's helpful to see all the little elements that other people do so that you can get good ideas. And here are some stills of it. My tear tray is from Waverly, just so anybody is looking or wants to know where that tear tray came from. So that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the tear tray or the projects from today. I know some of these projects were really super simple, but they don't have to be intricate in order to be really cool and wonderful projects. So I hope you all have a happy, healthy, and blessed day, and I will talk to you next time. Bye!